good morning. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> My name is Erin with two R's. And um, I'm just not feeling it today. I'm really not. Um, <laughs> I usually, last week, I start suicidal squirrel. Like legit move out the, look, see, this is what I'm talking about. I, whew, <laughs> just, last week I was really excited, not to start the week, but I was excited because I have a lot of things planned um, that I get to spring into action. Um, and um, <laughs> today I wanted to talk about like if you're waiting for the right time, <laughs> there isn't one, just do it. Like that's, that's today. Um, because I've been stalling doing something for the opera company because I'm just like, oh man, there's a lot of stuff happening. Like, man, will I just bombard everybody? And um, yeah, I'm about to bombard everybody because um, my opera company is worth it <laughs> and um, we have a good mission and um, if I want our mission to be there I'm gonna have to just be like you know what I know you see all these other opera companies but here's why you should support us and that's I think that's what I need to just do um, <laughs> okay there's a bird on there there's like right there I was like what is that it's my my window cracked what is it a bug no it's a bird outside on a power line but anyway um yeah <laughs> So, um, I just wanted to encourage somebody who's waiting for the right time, whatever time that might be. When do you think the right time is, though? Like, are you thinking, oh, once I get my life together, baby, <laughs> honey child, <laughs> my dear one, <laughs> I don't think that, the, I don't think we should count on that, okay? Um, because I've been saying, like, oh, you know, I, I used to think when I turned 30, I would have my life together. And, like, while it seemed like it was falling into place, I don't think there's a together moment that happens because I, I don't think so I don't think that's how that works the other thing is like okay I'm just waiting for these few finances to pass to start doing this now unless your thing that you're waiting to start um, takes up a lot of money then that's also not necessary like just just go okay um, business and like opportunities and you know even personal goals take a certain amount of risk like and a certain amount of sacrifice like something is gonna like go away but you can plan the thing that you plan to not do like you could say all right you know what I'm giving up my online shopping time to set up my online shop that like that's that's the stuff that you can make the decisions on but if you're just gonna sit there and wait until the world is ready for you obviously the world doesn't know what it's doing like I, were you in the United States last week the world has no idea what it's doing okay were you in or were you on earth for the year 2020 the world has no idea what it's doing it doesn't know what it's ready for until it comes okay and I just want you to get out of the mindset that you have to wait for a sign for something to happen like okay I was watching under the Tuscan Sun like forever ago and I need to watch it again because I love that show and um, Francis, the main character, was, she had just gone through a divorce, and she's in Tuscany, and she's like, you know what, maybe I should just buy this house on a whim. <laughs> Must be nice, right? But the lady who was going to sell the house, it was her family home for like centuries, and she was like, no, I'm looking for a sign from God, and so like a pigeon poops on Francis, and that was the sign. Are you legitimately waiting for the equivalent of a pigeon to poop on your head for that sign? Is that what you're waiting for? Because I, I saw that and I was just like, the day I'm waiting for pigeons to poop on my head is the day I have lost my ever-loving mind. Don't wait for a pigeon to poop on your head. Don't wait for that. Just do it. Plan it and execute it. Just do it. Okay? And one thing I also want to say is like, just because you're working hard doesn't mean you're going to fail. The only time that that working hard and failure stops you is if you stop after failure. Keep going. Come up with a new plan. Figure out what the what went wrong and then move on forward. Plan around it. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. Okay? I just I'm I'm talking to me as much as I'm talking to somebody else. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tight away. <laughs> but uh you know, I'm doing this for a friend. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but we're not waiting for pigeons to poop on our head, okay? We're not waiting for the heavens to open and the angels to go, oh, this is the way. No, just do it. Because 
nobody knows that they needed what you have until you prove that, that until you show them that you have it nobody knew that or somebody's walking around talking about man i really need this this and this and you're like well that's what i wanted to do then do it do it okay just do it that's all i wanted to say i just i guess i had to say that for myself and i know somebody else maybe needs to see that we're not waiting we're not waiting we're not waiting for the heavens to open we're also not waiting for pigeons to poop on our head we're not okay that's it thanks for riding with me what a short ride i have like 20 minutes to go but <laughs> gonna stop here you don't need 20 minutes of me telling you about pigeons pooping on people's heads <laughs> all right thanks and i hope to see you next time